Last week, we talked about my current part-time, no phone, very flexible job. And since then, thousands of you have applied and several of you have already gotten hired. This video right here, we're gonna talk more about scoring, answer some more of your questions, and also tell you about some more scoring companies. Let's get straight into it. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing great back again with another video for you guys and if you're seeing this video that means that the jobs from my video last week the online scoring jobs are still available so if you missed that video get your applications in as soon as possible so the purpose of this video is to give you guys more information about online scoring different things that i may have left out you know in the last video and also just to answer some questions that you guys had in the comments and on top of that I did learn a little bit more about different companies from my subscribers. You guys told me about some companies and some things I didn't know. So the information that I'm getting ready to give you right now is going to be in regards to Measurement Incorporated. So I mentioned this in the comments, but when it comes down to scoring with Measurement Incorporated, you will have to download their scoring system. It doesn't take long to download at all. You don't need any special equipment or anything like that super easy to download it when you do download that software you can keep it on your computer if you do score the next season they may have an update and then they will send you the updated software so you can download that and you'll be able to keep it on your computer you don't have to remove it off your computer after the season ends now in that software when you log into the scoring system you will be able to communicate with your team contacts so you can communicate with them regarding any questions that you may have when you first start scoring the first i will say like two weeks of scoring you're going to get a lot of messages from the team contacts correcting you on different scores that you sent and stuff like that when that happens you know don't take it personally make sure you're looking at everything that they're telling you and use that information and score better going forward now as the project continues you're not going to really hear from them as much because you're getting better you know everybody's doing better and getting used to the responses but when you first start you are going to get a lot of messages from them and sometimes it could be a bit annoying but it's pretty typical when the scoring season first starts so now I want to talk to you guys about how your time is tracked, okay? So with Measurement Incorporated, they use Paycor, they used to use ADP. And so as soon as you log into the scoring system and you click training or you click scoring, at that point, that's basically you clocking in. So there is nothing additional for you to do, which is great. So one thing you will need to make sure though, you need to make sure that your time card is correct. I still write down the hours that I work in my own notes, whether you do that on your phone or whether you write that down, that's how I do it. When I log out of the scoring system, I also put that in my notes as well. That way when I'm going in and I'm looking at Paycor, cause you can log into Paycor at any time. They do have an app. When I'm logging and looking at Paycor, my hours need to match what's in Paycor. So you wanna just make sure you're checking that. If there are any discrepancies with the hours that you worked, it's no problem. All you have to do is send a message. Measurement Incorporated, they have a really great helpline. You just send them a message and they'll help you. They're very quick at responding, so no issues with that. So speaking of the helpline, if you have any technical issues, you can chat into the helpline as well. There was one time where I tried to log in and I couldn't log in and it was happening for like probably like two hours and I just wanted to make sure it just wasn't me. So I did chat into the helpline and that's when they told me that it was a company-wide outage with the scoring system. So I wanna talk about how many hours that you can work. So you can work 40 hours a week with Measurement Incorporated. You cannot exceed eight hours a day. They're not gonna pay you any overtime. And if you try to exceed the amount of hours that you're allowed to work, that can cause you to be removed from the project. So make sure that you're only working 40 hours a week eight hours per day so speaking of that i want to talk about score fatigue okay so score fatigue is real okay so what that is that you've been scoring so long that you're just getting tired you're getting annoyed that can really happen okay because you're going through the same response over and over and over that can happen you will learn your cutoff times and for me that's four hours after four hours it's like okay i have to take a break so I personally like to work from 7.30 to 11.30. I like to take a break, run errands, take a nap. I get up at like four in the morning, so I take naps every day. So, you know, then I'm able to get up and work again from like two to 
six, two to, two to four or something like that. So I like to work between four and six hours a day. That's what works for me. You can break those hours up and work, you know, the schedule that works for you. So another thing that I wanna talk about, which I did tell you guys this in the first video, but I know people don't watch full videos. You will be provided with tons of information regarding the scoring questions. You're able to see this information during your training. You take practice tests to see if you know the material. So you are provided with scoring guides, scoring keys, rubrics, calibrations, you're provided with all of that. But in terms of the quote unquote answers to the questions, that's gonna really depend on the subject that you're scoring. So if it's science, then they may have the direct answers to the questions, but if it's like English language arts, you're not gonna have all of the answers because when it comes down to that type of subject, everyone does things differently, views things differently, sees things differently, so they're gonna answer things differently. So again, like I said in my first video, you're gonna to have to be analytical and you're going to have to look at different examples of answers and you're gonna to have to put two and two together and come up with a score. If the question for the student is, tell me what the apple looks like. The average student is gonna say it's red, it's shiny. There may also be a student that says it's round, it looks like a circle, it has a stick in it. All of those answers are correct. The, it has a stick in it may not be in the scoring guide. It has a stick in it, may not be in the answer key, but that's still a correct answer. So another thing that I wanna talk about is someone asked, you know, how many responses do you have to score? You know, what's your workload? Someone did ask that and there is no workload. This is a flexible job, you guys. This is not a regular job, you know what I mean? So there is no workload. If you wanna get on and score for 10 minutes and log off, you can do that. And there are thousands of scores online simply just scoring the responses. We don't see how many there are. We don't know how many there are. It doesn't matter how many there are. As long as we log in and we click score and we can score, we gonna score until we can't score no more, okay? So that's pretty much how it goes. So you don't have a set workload or anything like that. This is a flexible job. This is a side hustle. You're not committed, you know what I mean, to a specific amount of work each day, okay? So I wanna make sure you guys understand that. It's outside of you possibly having to work 20 hours a week. That's the only commitment that you have. Sometimes they are very lenient on that. So so I always put that I prefer the day shift, but you can work outside of your preferences, okay? The only time that I've seen them say anything about someone working outside of their preferences is if that person is not scoring accurately and not meeting you know, production levels. So if you pick morning shift, but you wanna turn around and work in the evening, you can do that as well. Again, this is based on the project. I'm not sure if you can do this with all projects, but every project that I've been on, I've been able to score outside of the time that I pick. What I forgot about, and one of the subscribers in the comments reminded me, is that with the fixed schedule with Pearson, which I've never worked a fixed schedule with Pearson, I don't think I ever will. I don't like fixed schedule jobs in general. That's just not, it doesn't work for me and my personality, but with the fixed schedule job, they do have you on camera during training, but I don't think you'll be on camera during scoring, okay? Another thing that I want to mention about Pearson that's different from Measurement Incorporated, Pearson will reach out to you and ask you if you wanna be a scoring supervisor, okay? So the scoring supervisor job, you know, you're gonna be working a set schedule and you will get paid a little bit more. I mean, it's not much. I think it's like $17 an hour. And so, you know, that is a good opportunity for you because you can put that on your resume, okay? So one thing that I wanna mention for both of the companies, Measurement and Pearson is, you know, the projected end date of the project is only a projected end date. The project can end before that or the project can end after that. When you try to log in with Measurement Incorporated, it'll tell you there are no more responses. Now, one thing I will say about Measurement Incorporated, once they tell you that, generally it's over. You know, it's over to the next scoring season, but with Pearson, when Pearson starts getting low on responses, sometimes it could be like two days and then you can come back and it's a lot of responses. So that's the difference between the two. But you know, again, the project can end earlier than the projected end date and it can be later, but generally it's earlier. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about some other scoring companies. I did put these companies in the description bar of that video, but let's face it, everyone does not check the full description bar. So quite a few of my subscribers did say that they got hired to work with the company DRC. Now, I have heard of this company before, but I never went to the website or anything until a bunch of my subscribers started commenting saying that they got hired with this company and that they're gonna be starting with this company this month. This company only has set schedule scoring for now. 
A couple of people in the comments said that they did have evening scoring at one point, but for right now, they only have set schedule scoring. Let's take a look at it. They have the test score remote full-time days, Monday through Friday. So again, if you're interested in working full-time Monday through Friday, you know, you can check this one out. Just like with Pearson and Measurement, you will need your degree. You'll be able to work remotely and you'll be working Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Their busy season is from March to June. So if you're interested, apply ASAP. So everything's pretty much the same. You're gonna score standardized test questions. You need to have a four-year degree. You need to be able to provide documents to verify your degree. And they will ask you to complete math and writing assessments. So the test scoring is monitored by supervisors based in Eastern and Central time zones. So you will need to live in one of the 28 states where they operate. So basically, if you're in the Eastern or Central time zone, you're pretty much in one of the states. You will have a full-time work schedule. They want you to commit to the schedule for the length of each project. Now the job with them does pay $18 an hour instead of 15 and they do have a pretty quick application now one thing i will say because i did go through the application process just to see what it was like they do respond pretty fast and they also will send those test assessments for you to complete pretty fast as well now a few of the subscribers said that they have an interview so they're not like pearson and measurement incorporated where you don't have an interview now another company that i did put in the description bar for you guys is the company right score but when you go to right score site they're going to tell you that it's a wait list for the scoring now another company that i did learn about via my subscribers is the company essentials in writing so this may be an option for you as well i did check out their website but i didn't see anything about you know scores being hired or anything like that i'd have to take another look at it i didn't see anything showing me where i could apply for a scoring job with this company but i still wanted to put the name out there just in case you guys wanted to do the research and find out more information about the company so that's all of the other information that i have for you guys i hope this information has been helpful as well good luck to everyone who has applied already good luck to everyone who's gonna apply via this video I wish you guys the best of luck and I hope that you guys can get on and take advantage of this opportunity. It's super convenient, you know, easy money, great way to make money, you know, in the springtime. So keep me posted on your progress and you guys already know, I appreciate you so much for watching. All links to everything will be in the description bar for you. I will see you guys in my next video and good luck to those who apply.